This is the crucible of my youth, from which I have drunk most deeply. Every evening I have read Kipling's If, and yes, it's made me a man, my son. We joined the NDA when India was a fledgling republic, a time for nation building. The Chief of Army Staff still had time to play polo. The Defence Minister had the time to inaugurate the Delhi Horse Show. And the squadrons were not named gladiators and destroyers, but simply Madhya Pradesh. How proud we were of being part of this nation building. But the journey is a long one. It starts in January 1962. Our train steams into Kharki station. For some of us, it's the first look at a small containment town. There are about eight of us, just like these guys, that alight and walk down to a blackboard on which in chalk it is written, Reception 27th Course NDA. We are edgy and apprehensive, all except one cadet, R.K. Koshal, who cranes his neck forward and says, Kichkata. There are no porters in the station, so it's Kichkata, and we lug our trunks into a waiting three ton, sit on our beddings, and slowly move to the NDA. We get down in front of the mess and from there move to Lima Squadron, opposite the sick bay and enter to join the central lobby cacophony and thus starts the most wonderful journey of our lives. A bit of a change from the former reception they now get. I'm sure some of us are skeptical about the gentle induction rather than the jolt we got. But I'm sure the new inductees do get a bit of a shake up. Things couldn't have changed that much. The one thing we remember is the grand finale, the passing out parade. But it's the journey to it which has been most fun. The rough and tumble, the excitement, the friends float through our minds as we look back those wonderful years. Pandra sola baras ke the, jaan hatheli par le aaye, aur ab reh gayi hai, sirf hazaron yaadi. Yaadi, academy kiya, umid hai kisse, wo kar de khaya, woods par me, kudna, wo dekhna science block ki. घड़ी बार बार वो दिल साहब का चिल्लाना हम पर कभी राउंड दर्जन कभी कदम तार कड़कती सर्दी में स्विमिंग पूल जाना बहाने सोचना फॉर नॉट स्विमिंग यार वो डाइविंग बोर्ड को देखते ही कहना the first stop, Barber's Shop. I confidently sit in my chair and when, I, when my turn comes, I tell the barber how I, how I want him to style my hair. I know it has to be short, but I don't want to look like a clown. He nods his head, takes the machine and bang, I'm done. I look appalled, but then what the heck, the cafe is next door. There is nothing a Mangola and a few Mondas cannot fix. Now let's remember our first buddies. The cluster of photographs around the squadrons indicate the guys we passed out with. We primarily remember the squadrons we joined at entry or the squadrons we spent most time with. But the records only show the squadrons we passed out from and the photographs have therefore been grouped together. When we joined in the spring term of 1962, there were 12 squadrons divided into three battalions. Lima was the latest raising 
and occupied the empty squad lines opposite the sick bay. Squad leader O.P. Nayar for the squad commander with Lieutenant Vijay Shikawa, later Chief of Naval Staff, Captain Shivaraman and Captain Sarvadikar as the Div Officers. In the winter term of 1962, my squadron was raised by the iconic Major Babbar. The squadron was quartered in the OR's barracks near the gold market and a number of us were transferred accordingly. In our sixth term, it was decided to put all the first and second termers in one battalion and this again caused a number of movements. However, by the end of term, we had all learned to adjust as we subsequently did throughout our services and were quite happy in the new locations too. Since our time, the academy has changed a lot. The atmosphere, however, is exactly the same. Cadets on bicycles, now perhaps not lifting them over their heads. OT and firing, and of course, the BPET and PPET tests. New activities, concentrating on self-defense too. But the basic activities remain the same, and there are some that we can still relate to. Bennett fighting. Though sometimes I wonder why non-infantrymen like us used to get so fired up about it. And who can forget the camps Rover and Torna and Goswami's rendering of Bobby Darren's multiplication in Punjabi. Charba Jarbi, that's the name of the Khed. And then our love-hate relationship with cross-country. And the anti-room procedures to get us all joshed up for the run. Polo, the game of kings, our riders, gladiators and some of our sportsmen. And then on to the passing out parade. ACC Manchanda commanded the passing out parade. The gold medal for the best all-round cadet went to BO Arun Pathak. The silver for standing first in the order of merit went to CQMS CP Naidu and the bronze for standing second in the overall order of merit went to SCC Avasti. Each and every one of us saluted the quarter deck on the way out. The chief gave us three important points. The first was that there was no limit to professional knowledge. Second, there is no substitute for hard work. And thirdly, without unity and discipline, very little can be achieved. We worked hard and played hard, both in India and abroad. Some of us reached the highest levels of military hierarchy. Gallantry Awards during operations, our course mates have been awarded four VRCs. Apte posthumously, Kaushik, Karambaya and VK Anand. Three Shorya Chakra were awarded to Dhodi, Thuds and Madan. Seven Sena medals have been awarded to Yogi, Sinha and Ranjit Singh, RK Koshal and KK Garg and Pushkar Chand and RIS Deol. We've been awarded one VMG, a North Sena medal and two Vayu Sena medals. We also have two UYSMs and one YSM. In addition, we have six mentioned in dispatches. Distinguished Service Awards. Number of us have been awarded for distinguished service. We have 10 PVSMs. 1 Gorkha Dakshin Bahu, 2 bars to the AVSM and 7 AVSMs. In addition, we have 2 bars to the BSM and 35 BSMs, a number any course would be proud of. 
and lastly some icons we cannot forget rc sharma he showed us every day was doable whether it was walking to the top floor on a banister or eating fish from the aquarium ashok sagar who taught us that jcu instructors and ncu instructors were handled differently and could also be tormented paranjit gargaj for his music and the fact that he taught us that size did not matter you could bullshit anybody pf kevaramani for his prize fighting capabilities and his international annual bouts with lakeot zamani and mohit malik for giving us the confidence that however late you were he was always behind us from a herd of unbridled wild horses the nda trained us to harness our power and energy apna let cha it honed our competitive spirit into an intensity where it became difficult for us to accept defeat god by sa we matured into a bunch of highly trained professionals who quietly went about their business we were always expected to deliver and we always did the nda spirit which cuts across all arms and services and all courses too has always been our driving force and that's why we have always remained a tight bunch our memories are full of wonderful experiences and that is why there will always be stories to tell and the memories will always linger on